Yo guys, so welcome back to another video. It's been a long time. I say welcome back. It's been so long since I've done a video, but I wanted to give you a quick update. We are on Splitgate 2 Alpha. That's why I clicked on the video in the first place. Uh, I want to run through some of the factions and who they are and what they do because it's a brand new game to us. Obviously, we all love Splitgate 1. If you've been around the channel for a long time, you know that I played it previously as well, uh, quite a lot competitively. Um, but yeah, so welcome to the new game. Um, it is an alpha, as you can tell by the bugginess on the first screen. Uh, but yeah, so the factions. We have three main factions that we've been introduced to. Whether any more get added in the future, you know, it's up for debate. But we have three. We have Eros, we have Meridian, and we have Sabrask. They all have their own, you know, unique individual abilities. I don't think we're getting the full picture right now, especially with it being an alpha. Um, but we do have some breakdown of what they do. And I will, I'll play you know, filtering clips of, of each um, faction as we go through the video and talk about a bit more about them and I'll do, you know, voiceover for them. Um, but essentially there are three. We have Eros, which is the rush one. So it's probably going to be quite a meta um, specific one. Think of it as just you sort of speed booster your octane type from Apex, if you like that. Um, you get a bit of a health boost, you get a bit of a speed boost. It's just a bit of a buff basically to your character. And you also, um, they all have their own trait as well for your team. And this one, for example, says faster ability cooldown for you and your teammates. So it's a nice one to have on the team, basically. And as for the way that team comps are, whether we go into the, the game in the future and it is broken down that you have to play one of each or whether we can start to mix and match and double up on stuff like that, I'm not sure how it's going to pan out or you know what the competition will look like in the future for that. But as of right now, this is where we're at and what they do. Um, and this is all we can tell. Sorry now. Anyway, so yeah, that's Eros. And um, we'll get into some gameplay about each and, I, and I'll, I'll do more voiceovers and whatever else. Um, or I'll just like leave it to watch it. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. So uh, welcome to Meridian, second uh, faction that we have. Think of it as a scan is basically their, their ability from Apex. You know, they have a scan where they can see through walls. Um, bit of a wall hack. And their team trait is faster health regen for you and your teammates. Again, we'll, we'll go into some gameplay and talk a bit more about these uh, in detail. Um, and Sabrask is the sort of more tanky one, if you like it. You can get a shield. You put a shield up. Um, and the team trait is to spawn in with extra reserve ammo. Very basic. There's not a lot of, you know, nuance to these characters whatsoever. And like I said, if the competition is you have to play one of each, um, then so be it. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll dive into some gameplay. We'll talk a bit more about them. So you do have to excuse me. I have not gone through settings. I've not changed sensitivity or anything like that. So the gameplay will be a bit bit washed. But we'll start out our first game playing Eros just so you get an idea of what this one looks like. You recharge, you build up this uh, over time. Um, wow, this is so strange being back on this. So, yeah, apologies if the uh, the gameplay isn't going to be as smooth as expected. We are in alpha. We haven't done any setting necessarily. And uh, like I said, you can kind of see already. And that is our ability, as you can see. We've used it in a pretty rough area. But we tried our best to get out of it. But yeah, essentially you get a little bit of a speed boost. Uh, you get a bit of a health boost. It's good to use in a pinch, I think. And as you can tell, it's a little bit fun, actually. Maybe the most fun one out of all three that I've played so far. Um... Headshots I've found as well are really quite important on this game. I feel like the headshot multiplier needs to be turned down a little bit. Um, it is quite strong. It is a little bit overpowered. Um, and there's a bit of stuff from my gameplay. I, it almost isn't even worth using your, um, your portals just because people die so fast with these headshot multipliers. It's crazy, actually. You don't, you don't need to be thinking about anything technical. So, yeah, anyway, we have some issues there. We're back on Eros now, and we'll see how we do. That was interesting. Yeah, I do quite like this uh, this faction, to be honest with you. I, I think I'm a fan of the... Watch out. Enemy is going for a capture. Yeah, I'm a fan of the uh, the way the speed boost works. I'm a fan of the health boost that you get. See, right now would be a great opportunity to pop it and just become a bit of a raid boss for a bit. Um, will be fairly useful. Literally right now would be really useful if I could possibly get it. What is going on? But... We do have it now, so we can heat up a little bit more, as the uh, tag just said that for us. We are popping off right now. I mean, we need to see this here. I guess someone else got him. All good. No, they did not. They did not get him. But yeah, I do really enjoy Eris. I think this might be the most fun one to play. I think it might also be the most powerful one to play overall, to be honest with you. I think the fact that you've got this health boost and speed boost at the same time is quite strong in a game like this, where it's all about the pacing. Um, so yeah, this is probably the one that I'd be looking to play a bit more. Um, but we'll jump on over to the ones, try them out. Um, I've had a little bit of a play test already, but yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at them. So jumping on over to Meridian now is the one that has the uh, the wall hacks essentially. Um, yeah, I can't, can't lie, this isn't my favorite. 
ability to use. I, I haven't enjoyed it across any game that has had this sort of feature. That is really unfortunate timing. Uh, but yeah, we get the get the wall hack, and um, we'll build it up here quickly now and try that out. No, no, no. Like, and we're, we're still in early access, you know? Like, the game has a long way to go. But I think it's doing a lot of things right. I think it's really, really interesting. Wow, I should definitely kill that guy. Um, but as for this this character, I mean, look, we've not even pressed the button yet, but I'm, I'm already enjoying the game. It doesn't matter who you play. <laughs> for really. yeah. With Meridian, we have the wall hack that we're going to pop now, so we can see through walls. It is useful. I like that it pops up and shows their, you know, head, head hitbox as well. Um, but unfortunately, I just don't think it's as fun, really. It's not as entertaining. I don't think it's as productive as... Uh, this may be Eros's overall. Um, we'll give it a bit more of a test, obviously, and show you a bit more what it looks like. But essentially, yeah, it's just a wall hack, and, and it does does what it says on the tin, really. Um, but the game, I mean, I can't talk talk high enough of, of the game and how fun it feels and how fluid everything feels, even in this janky you know, alpha state that we're in. It's unbelievable. So we have our wall hack back up now. We're going to pop it, see if anybody's close. Do you see we're getting flanked right now? I might have just stole that. I think he was actually getting assassinated though. Okay, this this might be broken. This burst rifle might be broken. But yeah, I mean the wall hack is nice. Like it gives you a good bit of info. Fortunately, um, I don't think it makes the character, the faction, much better than Eros at all. Not even close, to be honest with you. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm not a huge fan of Meridian, right? I, I, can't, I can't get on board with it, but for some people it's their, you know, bread and butter, they enjoy this type of thing, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's not for me, realistically. But we'll jump in again and we'll try out the last faction with the shield and then, then we'll, uh, we'll have a little bit of recap quickly and we'll go over it and uh, yeah. So jumping on board with Sabrask, obviously we are going to have our shield now and we'll give our teammates some extra reserve ammo. We've filled out all the team traits that we have on the right side, as you can see. As far as, you know, maybe loadouts and equipment might be due another video, to be to be honest with you, when what feels nice to play. But so far, most of the weapons have felt pretty good. You know, I've complained a little bit about the, the uh, more of an energy weapon I just tried out a second ago. That wasn't the burst, but um, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, but, you know, all felt quite nice. There's, there's a lot of fluidity in the gameplay, and I think it, it plays well into what these um, loadouts feel like as well. So all, all very well done. Um, where is my nearest portal here? Okay, immediately quite a fan of this weapon. It feels like it hits pretty hard. It's obviously an LMG type, which makes sense for the type of character this is. Wow, this uh, feels, feels really fun. We do have our shield up right now. If we can find an opportunity to uh, put this into action. Fortunately, right now would be nice. Okay, yeah, so exactly as you expect. I wonder if it does work both ways. It doesn't last very long. That's one thing I've noticed, um, which is a little bit disappointing. So you, ha you can put down a shield and you can make some techie blades with it. I appreciate that. If I was to rank these of how they feel so far, I definitely think Eros is the most fun. I think you can make a lot of really nice plays. Um, and possibly now Sabrask in second, because I feel like you can make some seriously quite technical plays using that shield. I think it does a lot for you. I don't know what the, the health is on it. I don't know how long it actually lasts specifically, but it wasn't very long. But I think it, with the way this recharges, I think it's enough to make it a play and get a critical kill like that. So I'm a big fan. We'll see how fast it recharges. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of these grenades though. They don't seem to be uh, as strong as we were hoping for realistically, but that's okay. So our teammate has popped his ability, allowing us to see through walls. That is nice of him. And wow, yeah, I mean, this just feels really nice. And the maps feel really fluid to play. Like, you understand it so well. Um, that probably cuts it now just for, for the gameplay of each fact. You know, we, we, we've dove in a little bit and a little bit of a talk through. Um, I do really enjoy Eros. I do really enjoy Sabrask. And as far as weapons go, I mean, I think Eros and Sabrask both have the better weapons as well. I mean, the burst is quite nice on, on the Meridian. Uh, whether these are cross-faction or, uh, you know, I don't know. It, it was so early, I can't tell you. But, yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Um... But we'll have a little recap after this. We'll have a breakdown and we'll, uh, we'll talk a little bit more. We'll try to keep it snappy. So yeah, essentially that is all three factions that we played through quickly there. Um, I will be looking to make some more videos, especially on this in early access in the alpha right now and hoping they extend it to be 
you know, I don't want to wait till 2025 to play this game. I'm, I'm hoping we're going to have a bit more content coming out in that meantime that we can play maybe a few more betas, things like that. Um, but yeah, so quickly, let's, let's recap on where we're at. So we have three factions. Eros feels really fun to play for me. I like the, the play style. I think it's really fun. Um, Sabrask comes in second for me with how, how it feels to play. I like that you put the shield down. I think it's quite techy. With the way that the weapons are working, I think it also has much nicer feel compared to Meridian, who unfortunately is the, the third one in the list. If I was to make a tier list, you know, would be the third one to me. I like the high precise ability, but it doesn't compare to, to the speed boost and the health boost you get from that, which makes you a raid boss. And it doesn't really compare to the shield where you can make techie plays like that. I just think it's... The hyper sight thing is just like it is in most games is you're going to have one on every single team regardless i feel like just because of the utility it brings you but it's not a fun thing to play um but well, don't get me wrong i'm not hating i love this game i've loved all the time i've played of it so far and it's not even that much time i've played like an hour of it and it's unbelievable um so yeah we'll be making more content um we'll be coming back to youtube a bit more frequently as well um let me know what you want to see. I mean, I'll probably make an FPS guide because I think we've already got quite a few settings that are working quite well. I have just changed a little bit. Um, I do plan on making a few more videos about the factions, possibly the loadouts. So we'll see how we feel. And just a bit more gameplay in general. And, you know, so yeah, that is Splitgate 2. Uh, welcome to the alpha, I guess. If you're playing, let me know. Um, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments, all that stuff. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully we'll be on maybe a bit more gameplay maybe something about the loadouts maybe something about the factions again who knows we'll see when we get to it i'll catch you then